All right, next up is to uh, put in the oil. We gotta put in the, uh, the battery now. So for that, we need your uh, 12 millimeter socket. And you gotta take out this one here, this one down here, the two down here, and the other one up here in the corner. I already started taking them out, so they're loose and just sitting in there. We can just fly through this hopefully a little bit quicker. So I'm just going to take all these out by hand. Yeah, it does look like the bottom one is connected to it too. It's like two pieces. Alright, one at the top. Boom. So this off to the side. We'll put that down there for now. pieces in here. These are the only two that I need though. Alright. Just grab that battery. And we'll toss her in here. Tight fit. Oh, I grabbed the piece of rubber. Just tuck this around the other side. There we go. How's that? Get in there. There we go. All right, so those two brass uh, bolts, these two right here, connect to the battery. All right, so why is there a silver one in here? Oh, the two silver ones for this side, that's why. Okay, let's do this. back I got the battery in now it took a little bit but I got it in there used a uh, screwdriver for this side and then I also added my battery tender cord so I could plug it in and charge it when I'm not using it and the battery doesn't die on me then I had to use a uh, what's this a 10 mil on the negative side for that brass nut so I get that all in, all set to go. My uh, battery tender cord's all hooked up, ready to go. Now I just gotta put the top plate on there. And I believe, uh, I wasn't sure what that was for at first because it doesn't really say anything in there. But I'm guessing that's what this is. To lock your battery in. And you know what? I did all that and look at that. My battery's sitting too high. Uh-oh. <laughs> if I take that pad out, I might be able to... Might be able to, uh... Screw it down, but I already got it all hooked up. <laughs> like I said, I didn't know what that piece was for, but I figured it out now. It's to tie down your battery so it doesn't bounce all over the place. But, I'm just gonna squeeze this... Foamy stuff out of here somehow. All right, we had a little bit of a delay on that. Batteries died on the GoPro. So next is the wing nuts. I got that piece of rubber out of there. Me and the wife had to tag team it. All right. 
And these are just like hand tight, obviously. These are for your hydraulic oil. I think that's in there pretty good. Loosen this one a bit, looks like it's down a little bit further. Screw this one a bit further. Alright. Alright, so we're all hooked up. Got the battery tender cord hooked up. I'm not sure where I'm going to put that out yet, but... Alright, we can put this bad boy back together because I think we're done in here now. I believe. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go down here and check the gear oil inside here. So this is your screw right here. Um, just take your... I think it's 10 mil. Yep, put your 10 mil uh, socket on there. Loosen it. If a little bit of gear oil drains out, then you're good. If nothing comes out, then you need to fill fill it back up and put some more in there. So then you want to loosen this bad boy and fill it up. So I did that. It dripped out a little bit, so I'm good. So I put that back. Good to go there. That's one thing I didn't show you. All right. Let's put all this back together. And uh, we'll figure out a spot to hang this out somewhere. I'm not sure what side or where I'm going to do it. Probably this side because all this stuff's over here. All right, let's do that. Put it back together. Yep. Yeah. All right, I got the four bolts back on. One, two, three, four. And to charge my battery, I just slid my cord right out of here. It doesn't pinch the cord. It doesn't pull on it. Nothing. It keeps it nice and loose, and I can pull it out anytime and charge my uh, battery. Actually, I like that better sitting off to the side. Alright, so everything's back in. Good to go. Um, so we can put that back. Locks back in there. The rubber knobbies. Alright, so the only thing I have to do now is to go back and tighten this. These two and um, the wing nuts. Or not the wing nuts, the... Uh, I can't even remember what they're called now. These things, we gotta spread them apart. Springs. Uh, and I think that's it. We can add some gas and uh, give her a go. Pull her off this skid and uh, see what she sounds like. See what the rhino sounds like. All right, let's do that then. We'll tighten this stuff up over here. And then we will... Uh, Cotter pins. That's the word I was looking for. Cotter pins. Uh, what do I do with the needle nose for those? Are they still over there? Needle nose are still over there? Yep. Alright, so let's tighten these up a bit. I'm not sure how tight these are supposed to go. Doesn't really say. I don't know if it's supposed to be all the way or... I guess it would be all the way. Just clean them all the way. in there all right give me those and then we just got to uh bend these up there you go just like so and i'll just use my hands and bend them up a little farther and then same thing on the other side tighten that nut And then we'll move on to the gas and getting her started and driving her off the skid. <laughs> 